I would have to say that my study of the of Euclid's elements really helped me to appreciate the beauty of mathematics as well as its order. Throughout the elements, Euclid focuses on the logical deduction of proof through different step-by-step -step procedures. Where um, this is a fa fact, this is a facet of mathematics that is that is for the most part lost among our society, except in certain fields of science or mathematics, where you have to use proofs in order to make in order to make claims or theories. But sci but mathematics uh, today is is primarily viewed of as a means of solving problems. One plus one equals two, or uh, five times five equals twenty five, or uh, uh, how, how how long will it take so, so and so to get to the nearest distance about eight miles from here, going at this speed. You know, the idea of problem solving. Mathematics is t is is uh, typically used in that fashion, but rarely is it appreciated as a beauty in and of itself. Um, at the time, it was not my favorite class. I will admit that. I was always terrified that I'd get called on to give a proof and I would mess it up royally. So that panic would always arise in me. But now, looking back on it, I realize just how much. I now know about logic and about forming arguments and getting from these assumptions to this conclusion and how to how to get from point A to point F, you know, step by step. Um, I know how to evaluate something and say I don't think this is valid because this assumption is wrong. So it's looking back on it retrospectively, it's been it had a huge impact on the way that I think and the way I process when I know. I remember learning geometry through Euclid's Elements, and he wrote something like a dozen books. Um, and uh, in the class, we had to take each proof that he had for a geometric proposition and, and, and validate it and um, recreate his argument for why um, uh, things are the way they are. What was so amazing is that he started from just a very small set of definitions and assumptions. Um, and uh, I, I remember very little of the geometry uh, 10 years later, um, but what really impressed me was, was the, um, his scientific method, or his mathematical method, if you will. Um, and it, and it's also, it also is true in philosophy, how all of us uh, are able to build uh, our belief structures from just a few assumptions. Um, and um, and those assumptions are powerful. Those definitions are powerful. Where we start from, um, where we start from, often determines what we can build with and where we end up. I think through studying Euclid in the first year of great books, and seeing him logically work through proofs, really equipped me for the next four years of discussion and equipped me for really life in general, because so many of the philosophers and um, and the authors base their arguments on logic and working step by step and backing up the things they have to say and proving their points so that at the end of an, a conclusion when you come to it you can see how they've gotten there and maybe you don't entirely agree with what they have to say but you can see how they got there and see what steps they took and the route that they went and then as a result how that affects you and how that affects the world that you now live in.